Welcome back to the Bumby, and I'm here to tell you a story of a time when I was knocked unconscious in the 8th grade. This is one of the more serious injuries for me. I've never really broken a bone or anything, or had any huge lacerations on my arms like from an accident. So I'd have to say this is pretty much a highlight of the injuries I've ever had in my life. So in the 8th grade, it's a trend to have like a class trip that's organized by the teachers and the teachers come as well and the whole grade just goes somewhere cool to bond before leaving and going on to secondary school high school or whatever and for me it was a trip to a camping place with cabins and everything and I thought it was gonna be really fun like it would be so cool that was like the first time I was on a trip that was I was away from my parents for a very long time well a week was a long time to me before and that was gonna be sick I'm gonna sleep over I'm gonna have fun with my friends gonna stay up all night it's gonna be sick and that's exactly what happened it was a great trip and the friends that I made there or the bonds that I made there are pretty strong still till this day and what happened about (laughs) being knocked unconscious was after playing a game of I don't know what game this was I think we were playing like some intense level of octopus or something wait I don't know I don't know what game we were playing but I don't understand why I had to be knocked down for this but anyways so we were playing a game and it had to do with dodging I believe and I was pretty much a really good at it I'm a really small kid and I could you know swoop around people and whatever I was good at dodgeball and stuff like that but this one it could have been octopus actually I think I remember the game was octopus and there was a lot of walking in zigzags because a lot of the people on the ground are like waving their hands out and if they touch you you're out and you become seaweed does anyone know how to play octopus okay let me explain octopus first so in octopus you basically have two people who are in the middle who are the octopuses and you have a bunch of people on one side of a room that are just I guess fishes or something and the goal is to get to the other side of the room without the octopuses touching you and when the octopuses touches you you turn into seaweed and you where you got touched you have to sit down and like try to catch other people who are like walking forward and like walking back because like after you they walk to the other side of the room you repeat the same process and you go back and you keep going back until there's no more fish left and then the octopuses win so that was the game that destroyed my head because there was this it was like an intense part of the game where there was a lot of seaweeds already and uh i was like yo ninjaing through everyone oh my god i'm gonna make it and then i think one of the octopuses he was like a big dude he just like slammed into me like slam like I was running at full speed I'm pretty sure he was running at full speed and then we just collided and he wasn't knocked back at all I was knocked back probably like a two or two or three meters back and I landed on my head and I was like oh and then I actually don't remember what happened after falling which is why I believe this is when I was unconscious I never really got told about the details of what happened I just remember waking up and being like what why does my head hurt so badly like what happened and I'm pretty sure like I blacked out like I was on I was on the ground and I remember I couldn't move for a bit and I was trying to but I was like uh I can't can't I can't do anything and then like slowly my consciousness started coming back to me and then I was like walked off towards like the pay phone where the teachers would have to call one of my parents and say like oh your son got mega mega screwed up man like he's he's destroyed his head is broken and like my mom was so worried she was like you're coming home right now and I was like no it's like the second day I don't want to come back home this is so fun my words started blurring I was pretty sure I was dazed out and um yeah that happened and then I was treated differently after that day everyone's like yo Jerome like do you remember me and I'm like yes I remember you I don't have amnesia But I'm pretty sure like something in my brain went missing that day because when I entered high school, I became dumb, man. Like, is that like what happens? I don't know because I was super smart in elementary school and then when I got to high school, I was such a big, dumb, dumb bumby. And, uh, you know, I didn't do so well, but whatever. So that is the end of my story of how I got knocked unconscious for the very first time ever. So leave a like if you liked it and, well, see ya.